Hello everybody, welcome back to Norwich Talk for another Transfer Rumour video. We're here today to talk about Oliver Skip potentially joining Norwich City on a season-long loan from Tottenham Hotspur, a signing that I find particularly exciting, um, but also in terms of the conversation regarding the signing, I think it's more of a sign of what Norwich City will do in terms of outgoings and players who will potentially leave Norwich City, uh, but that's for a little bit later in the video. As ever in this video, we're going to go over what we know about Oliver Skip, um, what he could bring to Norwich City, and also, as I've literally just mentioned, what that will probably mean in terms of outgoings from Norwich City but to begin with as ever we're going to rattle through what we know about him um, which is very little he's a very young player with not that much experience but the experience we're going to go through um, could be pretty decent for a player going into a championship season but what do we know he's 19 years old he's English he's a central defensive midfielder and he's five foot nine now remember the fact he's five foot nine because I'm going to mention that a little bit later um, he's repped England from under 16s to 21s his first Premier League start was in late 2018 against Burnley I believe so he was 18 years old at the time he made seven appearances last season in the Premier League playing twice in the Champions League um, albeit a combined 29 minutes but you know any experience in the Champions League is pretty decent um, and he's also just signed a new contract with Tottenham Hotspur uh, a three year deal with an option for a further year which sort of says that this is definitely a one season thing for Norwich City unless we go and pluck out millions for him after a successful campaign but I'm pretty sure we can all agree now um, that that isn't going to happen um, but yeah you know uh, the fact he signed a new contract suggests that Tottenham think him think of him very highly sorry um, I think Jose Mourinho has described him as a future captain which is a quote from Connor's article um, in the pink in which sort of is the, is the credible source for this and for me it's what makes this transfer look like it's actually going to happen now to me this suggests an identification in terms of sort of Norwich City's main problem which I said this in the Ethan Ampadu speculation video of course that transfer is not happening now um, which is that Norwich City are trying to cover the centre-backs rather than sort of replace them because I said I think it was in the Ben Gibson video it's in one of the videos and um, there's sort of merge into one at this point but Norwich City have the quality in centre-back it's just about protecting them because there's only so much you can rely on said quality uh, and a player like Oliver Skip should provide that cover. Now, an interesting thing for me is the fact that he is five foot nine. In a position like that, you often assume a player is going to be a bit taller, a bit more physical. But when you're five foot nine, you're not very tall in terms of um, footballing standards or what have you. Um, which suggests to me that he's a bit more agile, he's a bit more nimble on the ball, maybe he's a bit quicker. Now, a player who comes to mind in terms of a successful case, in terms of being a little bit shorter, is Harrison Reed. He was very strong on the ball, and I think that's because um, I think the term low centre of gravity was tossed around um, tossed around quite a lot in terms of Harrison Reed, and that's where most of his success came from it was very difficult to knock off the ball because you literally couldn't knock him over and I think that Oliver Skip could be the sort of player um, I've seen him described as a ball player which I think you naturally assume Norwich City are only going to sort of sign ball players now because that is the way they play football there's never really going to be the sort of knock it long um, or just sort of hack people out in, in the Norwich City midfield is there you've got to be able to do quite a lot of things to be a Norwich City midfielder um, and this suggests to me a player like Ollie Skips maybe physical can defend quite well um, and also is decent on the ball and sort of will help Norwich City transition between the thirds um, which is such a sort of obvious thing to say but it's worth remembering at the same time uh, again he's represented England from under 16s to 21s any international recognition is always in, uh, impressive especially in terms of England because there's so many um, young talent there's so much young talent sorry um, in terms of England at the moment especially sort of in the centre of the park and Oliver Skip is um, repping England from quite a young age. Another interesting thing to me is the fact that he was brought into this team by Mauricio Pochettino. Now, if you look at his sort of time at Spurs, one thing that he loved to do, much like Daniel Farker, sort of bring young players through. Harry Kane being the best example. Um, I know Deli Alli was brought from MK Dons, but he's another example. Uh, Eric Dyer, I think, uh, again, he was brought in, but he was a young player at the time, um, sort of coming through the, the, the Tottenham ranks, what have you. And I think Oliver Skip, to be sort of pointed out by Pochettino as a player who's worthy of playing, says a lot to me in terms of trusting this, the fact that he is a decent player. Um, I remember he played the full 120 minutes against Norwich. I can't say I noticed him too much, um, but I can't say I noticed much from that that night, to be honest with you. That night is purely remembered for the penalty shootout and Joseph Dermott, is a really strange goal. But moving back to the point, the fact that Pochettino has identified him as a player, I know he's not at Spurs anymore, of course, but the fact that he's brought him sort of into the first team in that mix will suggest that he is actually quite decent. And the fact that he's going to be training with these really good players um, suggests that perhaps he could be learning a trick or two. Maybe he could teach some of our players um, I'm, maybe that's just clutching at straws in terms of points to actually make about um, Oliver Skip he's also played in the Champions League now it's 29 minutes but at the same time playing in the Champions League isn't a bad thing to sort of has, have on your resume 
um, in terms of being a 19 year old. The final point that I would actually like to make in this video, because there really isn't much to say, um, is the fact that I think this probably sort of definitely, well, I say probably, it definitely suggests that there'll be a few outgoings in terms of Norwich City and, and the centre of the park. You look at players like Tom Tribal, Moritz Leitner, they're the prime candidates to leave Norwich City. Mario Vrancic is sort of up in the air at the moment. I know there was an article that said that he's probably going to stay at Norwich or he's expecting to stay for his final year, but you look at Norwich City bringing in players like Jacob Sorensen um, and Ollie Skip now uh, and having players like Alex Tetty, that's sort of your, your middle of the park covered. Um, you've also got players like Melvin City who are going to come back from loan, Kenny McLean, Kieran Dow. These are all other players who are going to feature um, for Norwich City and sort of have been brought into the club. Um, so yeah, for me, it suggests that players like maybe Vrancic, Tribal, Liner are going to leave. Now, when that will actually happen, I'm not actually sure. Um, but at the same time, I think we could be pretty certain it's going to happen at this point. Um, but for me, that's everything on Ollie Skip um, in terms of what we know about him, what I think he'll bring to Norwich. It's a very exciting signing because I think the main thing I take from it is the fact that Mauricio Pochettino, a, a manager who's very, very good at uh, developing young players, um, rates him as highly as he did, does whatever. Um, that excites me. And we know that Daniel Farker is really good at coaching young players. There, there is a bit of hesitation in terms of a loan because the last few loan signings for Norwich have been not very good. You look at players like Andre Duda, Fairman, Roberts, Amadou, and they were all really shocking signings and really didn't do anything for Norwich. So I do feel slightly concerned that Ollie Skip could fall into that category, into that band. But at the same time, I'm going to sort of have a bit of blind optimism and a bit of blind faith uh, in terms of Daniel Farker developing this guy into a good player um, who can then go back to Spurs and, and do whatever he does. But hopefully he can play a part in getting Norwich City back into the Premier League. I'm very keen to know your thoughts in the comments down below on Ollie Skip, what you think of this sign or potential signing, what you think he'd bring to Norwich City, what you make of the whole loan situation and if that sort of um, made you a bit more concerned about this potential signing. It has for me, definitely. I'm not going to let it dampen my optimism uh, is the way I'm going to phrase that. But yeah, I'm, I'm very keen to know your thoughts. If you could like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, I'd be very, very grateful. Now I'm going to go film a video on Javi Kintea, which will be out tomorrow. So until next time, we'll see you again very, very soon.